Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to another session of Names of Allah. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has 99 names. Whomsoever memorizes them will enter Jannah. Now last week we learned two names. Ya Haq, the truth, and Ya Hadi, Ya Hadi, the guide. Ya Haq, the truth, and Ya Hadi, the guide. Now the thing about having a guide is that if you follow a guide, then you need to trust them. You need to trust them and know that they'll have your best interest at heart. And whilst we've already covered so many names of Allah that give us so many reasons to know why Allah is the best guide for us and why we should, why we should put our trust in Him, here's two other reasons why we should put our trust in Allah and accept Him as our guide. Firstly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Ya Wakil, the trustee. Allah is Ya Wakil, the trustee. And linked to this name, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also Ya Wali, the governor. Ya Wali, the governor. Now, a trustee is someone that you rely, that you rely on to look after your affairs. Maybe they're much more knowledgeable than you or more skillful than you, or just more able in something. And so you decide that it's better that they look after your affairs and make the decisions on your behalf, rather than you having to do it yourself. And the governor is of course the one who governs, like a manager at work. They look after everything, make all the decisions on what's best for you and for the company. So when it comes to life, given that we know that Allah is, for example, the all-knowing, and he is the most wise, and he is the almighty, and so on. So many other names that we've learned. So then who better to be our trustee and to govern our lives than Allah? Who better to take care of our affairs than Allah? And that is why we have this beautiful dua. Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil. Meaning that Allah is sufficient for us, and he is the best trustee. He is the best one to look after us. But wait, wait. Does that mean that we can just relax, not make any effort at all, and let Allah do everything for us? No, no, not at all. Rather, we need to still try our best. You see, just like this, this tightrope walker. You see, he doesn't just give up and fall. No, he's trying his best to balance. He's trying his best to get to the other side. But he knows that if he does fall, then he'll be safe. Similarly, we should do everything we can and try our best in life. And then we should put our trust in Allah, that Allah will do the rest and do whatever is best for us. Now, when we think of a trustee or governor, we might think of them as an authority figure. So, you know... So not someone that we can be close to. So we balance these names of Allah that we learned, Ya Wakil and Ya Wali, the trustee and the governor. We balance these names with the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also Ya Wali, the best friend. Ya Wali, the best friend. See, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's our only true BFF, best friend forever. Because he's closer to us than anyone else. He supports us when others might not. He protects us and lovingly guides us all the time. He is always there for us. Even if the whole world was to abandon us, Yawali would be our friend and will always be with us. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that Allah's friends have no fear and they are not sad. So, we learned three names today. Yawakil the trustee, Ya Wali, the guardian, and Ya Wali, the best friend. And here's a lovely example of where all these three names can be seen. See, when Ibrahim alayhi salam was thrown into the fire, was he worried? No, because he had trust in Ya Wakil. He had trust in Ya Wakil that he would look after him. He had confidence that Ya Wali could govern and control the fire. And he took comfort 
that even though all these people had abandoned him, Ya Wali was still with him. So and then in this one example, we see how Ibrahim al -Islam remembered all three names of Allah and that gave him the confidence and trust and strength to continue going forward. And so inshallah, we should be similar like that and remember these names of Allah and bring them into our lives. We'll speak to you next week. Assalamu alaikum.